what is going on there guys so it's currently 11 12 p.m in the evening so in this tutorial guys um we're going to talk about we are going to talk about a new thing in array list so yun so bago ako magsimula just want to say na i really i i i really hope na alam nyo na the basics of array list if hindi pa i recommend you guys to watch first yung tutorial video ko about array list the basic of the basic na in explain ko doon so in this topic kasi is very ahead na of array list so may mga baka hindi kayo maintindihan when it comes to array list so i'll post it in the description below kasi nasa playlist ko lang naman siya so you can look it pero i'll post it in the description below nga <laughs> so yun so kung makikita niyo meron tayong mga ano dito mga elements so 6 3 11 0 2 9 then if we print this out um, the thing is, ang gusto kong iparating is not sorted siya, hindi siya sorted. So, there is a, a way in array list kung what if kung gusto nyong, you have elements in an array list, gusto nyong isort. What I mean is yung in ascending order, for example, sort this in ascending order. So, 0, 2, 3, 6, 9, 11. So, ganon. So, um, what I mean is, yes, tama. So, bago akong magsimula ulit, gusto ko lang sabihin na, in programming itself, mara maraming, maraming mga tinatawag na sorting algorithms. Meron tayong tinatawag na insertion sort, bubble sort, um, quick sort. So, yun yung mga tinatawag na mga um, data structures na mga sorting algorithms. Algorithms, what I mean is parang mga step-by-step -step procedures or instructions. And that instructions is written in, um, in code, particularly in a programming language. So, pero... Hindi ko yun, um, di, well, hindi tayo doon. So, I just want to say about doon. You can apply it naman. Uh, para sa akin, just search, search it in, on the internet kasi alam niyo na yung basics ng yung for loop, mga if else, ganun. So, kahit konting review, kahit nga hindi ko na yun i-discuss, makukuha niyo na yun kasi you already know the basics of, of programming itself. Yung mga state, yung mga basic keywords. So, eto, I just want to add kung paano mag-sort in a different way in array list. So, ganun. Enough talk, ganun lang. So, here, so, um, in array list, we are going to use the thing called the comparator. So, ano nga ba yun? So, from the word itself, parang compare. We are going to compare something. So, eto, dito, not sorted, diba dito? So, let's just print. Dito natin i-print yung hindi natin, I mean, the sorted na ano natin. So, sorted. Ganyan. Oops. Sorted. <laughs> ganyan. So, ganyan. So, we are going also to use the, from the package, the collection. So, you just type collection dot sort. Ganyan. So, kung makikita nyo, may red error, then control shift I to import our java.util.collection package para magamit natin yung the collection class. Basically, I think a class. So, dito, sa unang, dalawa ang ito take place niyan, which is yung uh, the reference variable of our array list, which is numbers. Then dito, this, this is where the part na ilalagay natin yung comparator natin. Excuse me. Pero, we have to, anong tawag dyan? we have to first um, make our comparator. So, madali lang naman ang comparator, pero may, there are things na I think hindi nyo ma, ano, konting um, loading pa, kumbaga. Pero magigets nyo rin. So, right click on the package, new, dito lang tayo gumawa, then Java class, then let's just name it, uh, for example, integer or in, in comparator. Ganyan. So, finish. So, public class in com comparator. So, we're making our class of name in comparator. Pero dito, dadagdag tayo dito na public class in comparator implements, implements, comparator, comparator, then inside here is integer. Kasi we are going to sort integer. Ganon. So, kung magtatanong kayo, ano bang meaning ng implements? Parang implements... Mean, meaning na kumbaga ina-apply kumbaga applying this or apply kaya nga so parang obvious alam niyo naman ata ang meaning ng implements implement implementing so alam niyo naman ata parang ina-apply ganon so just control shift tayo ulit 
to import the ano. So, ayan yun lang kung mag-error ng ganyan. So, this is where the part na um, gagawin natin yung parang nagko-compare. So, first is you type at override. I'll explain it later, pero if you watch my, ano, yung, I think the previous tutorial in this tutorial, so I think may idea na kayo sa override. So, if you watch my previous tutorial about this, again, ulitin ko. So, meron kayong basic um, understanding yung override. So, may idea na kayo. So, the next is we're going to put public in. So, I'll explain kung bakit may return type na in. Then, compare. And open and closing parenthesis, then ganyan. So, tandaan nyo guys, the word compare, ganyan na talaga yan. So, don't there na palitan yung ano. So, ganyan talaga yung fixed na function name. So, in this, yung lalagay tayo ng parameter or simply just um, a variable of type integer then, let's just name it um, A, then integer B. So, you can name it anything you want pagdating dito sa parameter. So, dito, we will just return um, return A minus B. Ganyan. So, simply, tapos na. So, I'll explain this kung bakit ganito. So, mamaya na itong override. So, I'll explain muna itong function na to kung anong ano ba yan. So, public int, tandaan nyo, mer merong return type na integer. So, kung makikita nyo, bakit return a minus b? Because, again, this is the comparator na ginawa natin. So, basi basically, isipin nyo na parang, um, doon kasi sa collection that sort, yung algorithm doon, or yung the way na sinasort nyo, hindi natin alam kung paano. Pero, eto, etong ginawa natin, yun yung, etong ginawa natin na comparator, eto yung gagamitin nung algorithm na yun, kung ano man yun, para ma-compare yung mga numbers na yun sa array list natin kung sino ba ang mas malaki, sino ba ang mas maliit, para ma-sort yung mga numbers na yun. So, ganun. So, basically, um, return A minus B. So, it will return, this function will return um, 1 kung ang integer A is greater than B. So, basically, it will return um, an inti, um, a positive value. So, kung mag-return naman siya ng 0, it means na integer A and integer B equal sila. Are equal, equal value. So, kung pag nag-return naman ng negative, meaning integer A is less than integer B. Or, in the other way around, mas malaki si integer B kaysa, sa, um, kaysa kay integer A. So, it's like comparing nga so, it, it gives a return of 1, 0, or negative 1 to tell kung sino bang mas malaki sa ano, or kung pareho bang value. Ganon. Ganon lang naman. So, basically, we don't know kung ano ang nangyayari doon sa collection that sort, kung ano man ang algorithm na pinagagawa noon para masort yung array list natin. But the thing is, ito yung ginagamit na comparator. So, the override, um, the override, I think, um, Simply means na, for example, um, may, may i-compare na dalawang number pagdating doon sa array list. For example, um, etong 6 and 3, kinompare. So, kinompare yung 6 and 3. Then, since tapos na siya i-compare, it will override or it will, kumaga, change the, ano. So, the, eto naman na 11, 0 or eto naman na 3, 11. Depende sa ano. So, override just means, kumaga, ina override niya yung method para kumbaga sa sunod naman or kung parang ganun so ganun lang naman ang ano nang basically the um the understanding of override from the word itself ka, kasi para magigets niyo naman niya override parang ina override niya so parang ano ayop na naintindihan niyo yung sinasabi kong ganun so yun ina override so basically parang pinapalitan niya or ina override yung method so, basically, changing the values, ganun, ganun. So, ganun. So, enough talk. I hope na naiintindihan nyo. So, parang I think, oo naman. Yes. <laughs> so, eto na, ilalagay na natin dito. So, we will just type um, new, then, integer. Ano ba yung ano natin? Which is int comparator. So, bucket new? Because, ang um, tawag dyan, um, we are, it's a class, basically, it's just, it's a class, so, why is, why is it's an error, so, 
So yun guys, bigla akong nagkamali. So, um, this is not collection that sort. This is actually collections that sort. So, dito sa taas, sa pag-import nyo, just put it, um, collection. So, sorry guys, um, na, dinadaanan na ako ng antok. So, sente na, sente na. So, yun na yun. Um, we've, we've made it. Nagawa na natin. So, we have now our comparator. Um, I already explained it. So, kung paano, how it happens. So, Ganon. So, in this part, so let's just um, simply print. So, in this line of code here, dito, so, dito na nangyayari yung pag-sort. Dito na nangyayari sa ano yung pag-sort. So, sinosort niya, tanda niya yung unang value or the parameter dito is yung the reference variable of your array list. Then, the second is your comparator, which is yung ginawa natin dito. Eto. So, ganon. So, let's just print it na for, for my collection of integer, which I call, for example, numbers. Na parang, oh, but kasi dalawa na yung numbers. Um, num1 in my numbers collection. So, let's just print um, system.out.println, then number, ganyan. Lagyan niya natin ganyan. Then, num1, num1. Ganyan niya naman, num1. So, if we run this, run file, then kung makikita nyo, simula tayo dun sa taas, 6311029. So, not sorted. Then, pagdating dito sa baba, sorted, eto na. So, lagyan natin dito ng space, panang backslash n. That is cool. So, kung makikita nyo, sorted na nga. So, kung makikita nyo dun sa sorted, so, sorted 0, 2, 3, 6, 9, 11. So, basically, um, sorted na siya um, from ascending in ascending order. So, ganun lang naman guys. So, what if kung magtataka kayo, um, paano kung gusto nyo yung descending order? So, I think, I have, gawin nyo lang is B minus A. Ganyan. So, save nyo, of course. Save nyo. Then, pag rinan nyo to, then, ayun. So, 11, 9, 6, 3, 2, 0. So, po, um, simula sa pinakamataas hanggang sa pinakababa. So, again, a quick review kung paano ito mangyayari or nangyayari. Again, as I've said, sinabi ko na, we don't know in this, ito yung sinasabi kong collections that sort, yung this function here, the that sort, so hindi natin yung alam yung algorithm kung paano nangyayari yung pag-sort, but ito, we've made um, a comparator, parang kinocompare nga yung, a comparator nga, comparing two numbers, so ito, ito, pinapasa natin doon, so ito na, dito nangyayari yung pag-compare ng ng tawag dyan ng integers doon sa array list natin. So, basically guys, when you are sorting kasi, when you are sorting, you are also comparing the integers. Kasi, titignan mo kung alin, sino ang mas malaki, sino ang mas maliit para masort mo. So, ganun. Eto, gumawa tayo ng comparator or a com kung nga, kaya nga, comparator or a comparing taga-compare. Then, as I said, if um, nag-return siya ng positive value or 1 or a positive value, it means the integer A um, integer A is greater than B. So, what if nag-return siyang um, 0? It means na pareho yung value ng integer A then integer B. Then, what if kung negative, it means na maliit si integer A kaysa kay integer B. Ganun lang naman. So, yung kanina ginawa natin, um, Binaliktad lang naman natin yung B minus A. So, ganun. So, di, di, baliktad yun, baliktad. <laughs> baliktad yun. So, ganun lang naman, guys. So, ganun lang naman. Ganun lang naman. So, again, yung override. So, again, yung override. Uh, quick recap again. So, basically, ang nangyayari kasi dito is, for example, um, for example, integer A, yung integer A dito, and is 6. Then, integer B, is 3 dito eto so basically ikaw compare ikaw compare ikaw compare <laughs> ikaw compare so is 6 6 minus 3 so it's basically um, a positive integer so it will ret return 
um, a positive integer. So, ganun. Doon, doon sa returning value, malalaman na mas malaki kung sino ang mas malaki cause of the ano, returning value. So, that is basically on logic. Logic yan. So, ganun. Then, override meaning na kung bagay na-override yung method. So, mag-iiba na yung values nito. Basically, it overrides overrides it overrides the method then magiba na yung value then hanggang so on so on ulit ulit lang so again ulit ng ko hindi lang hindi naman alam natin uh, yung algorithm nga ang point ko lang is we are ginagawa natin sa ng comparator so ganun guys so ganun so thank you guys again for watching this video tutorial so i hope na kahit pa paano na intindihan niyo cause kahit ako sa simula um, nalilito rin kung ano ba tong comparator na to pero, pero um, mga content practice lang and pag-aralan nyo lang kung paano talaga siya nag-work so ganun so I've already given you some mga ang tawag dyan mga ideas on how on how it works so I hope na nakatulong ako so yun guys so thank you again for watching this tutorial so see you in the next one so don't forget to subscribe and I'm out thank you